Hello and welcome to Hidden Leaders, a light strategic card game with just a hint of deduction. In the middle of the table you can see the board. On the board there are two markers placed on the power track. One marker in red represents the Imperial Army, the other one in green represents the Hill Tribes. These two factions are competing against each other. Overall, there are four factions in the game. The Imperial Army in red wants the red marker to be ahead of the green marker by at least two steps. The Hill Tribes in green want the green marker to be ahead of the red marker by at least two steps. The Blue Water people are neutral. They want both markers to end up on the same space or on spaces next to each other. The Black Undead are evil and aim to escalate the conflict. They want both markers to end up in the war zone marked in black. At the end of the game only one of the four factions is going to win. The six leader cards are giving the game its name. Each player will draw one of these cards and keep it secret. Every leader is aligned with two of the four factions. Only with these two factions the leader is able to win. In the end of the game, every leader who has the winning faction, that is red, green, blue or black, on that card can claim the victory. However. Several leaders can have the same color. Then only the leader who has the most heroes of this color wins and will become the new Emperor of Osra. So, how do you influence the Marcus to make your leader win? Let's look at a player's turn. You always start with three hand cards. Firstly, you play one card from the hand and trigger its effect. For example, the depressed druid reduces the power of the red faction by 2 and the power of the green faction by 1. After the ability was executed, you put the card in front of you into your tableau. Secondly, you draw heroes until you've got 4 hand cards. You can draw them from the open tavern or from the deck. What combination you choose is up to you. Thirdly, you must discard one of your hand cards. This card you will probably not see again. Once you are done with your turn, you fill up the tavern again, so that three heroes are available. Afterwards the player to your left continues. The game ends as soon as one player reaches a certain number of open heroes in their tableau. For example, in the two-player game, eight open heroes are needed. Once this number is reached by any of the players, the game ends when the active player finishes their turn. Now, you can check which of the four colors wins. In this case, red would win because red is currently ahead. Then all leader cards are revealed. Every player who has the winning color on their leader card can claim the victory. If two or more leaders have the same winning color, they must compare the number of open and hidden heroes of this color. In this case, Pavir seems to have fewer red heroes than Sira. But when considering the hidden hero cards, it becomes clear that he in fact has four red heroes in total and wins against Sira, who only has got three. If both leaders have the same number of heroes in the winning color, the total number of heroes must be considered. Whoever has fewer overall heroes wins. In this example, Pavir has ten heroes and Sira only has got seven. Therefore, Sira wins. Now you know how to play. So let's take a look at how to set up the game. When you start Tabletopia, you will already find the red and green marker on the starting position. Also, 
the deceased emperor who recently died is found in the graveyard. This is where you put all heroes which are killed throughout the game. Please don't forget to shuffle the deck and the leader cards or you risk playing the exact same game twice. Now put three hero cards in the tavern. Then pick the correct assistance card depending on the number of players. You will either need 8, 7 or 6 open heroes to end the game. Place it in the middle of the table so that everyone can see when the game will end. Now draw your leader card. It will tell you your goal. Therefore keep it secret from the other players. Afterwards, you draw five cards from the deck. You have to discard one of these heroes into the outskirts. Choose a card that you probably will not need. Another card will be played hidden into your tableau. This card will give you a secret advantage at the end of the game. Now you are all set and the player who feels most confident about the game starts.